evaluating Peter Face's speech. Please help me welcome Amy to the front of the room. Toastmasters, guests, and especially Peter. All I did say is, wow. I think you guys all agree with me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Peter asked me to be hypercritical about his speech because this is going to be taken to the division contest. And that is going to be on the 18th. So I have brought with me the judge's, well, the judge's guide. And I want all of you to help me help Peter where he can earn more points and how. I do have some notes for him later, but I'm hoping that we're going to cover them on this. So, speech development. There are 20 points possible. Structure, organization, and support material. Would anyone here give him less than 20 points, and, and what could he do to kick that up, if you would? He really does need a title. <laughs> <laughs> a title. Oh. <laughs> I agree. Any thoughts on a title? Anybody? Okay. Thank you. Effectiveness. There's 15 points available for that, and and it says achievement of purpose and interest and reception. By the way, this was speech number two, which is organize your speech. I think that was an error in. The, in the, um, the agenda. Okay, so 15 points. Would anyone give him at less than 15 points? And if so, why? What could he do to up that? I've seen I've seen this speech a number of times, and uh, and it's changed a little bit. And one thing I think that I would suggest is to take into account the size of your space because the size of your speech today to me was bigger than the size of the space mm -hmm. and so it came off I feel like I should be looking at it <laughs> so it came off as a little acty um, and not quite to me as um, sincere and um, authentic as I have seen it work before. Got it. Okay. Next one is physical. That's the appearance, body language, and speaking area. I thought they were great. Get <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>, here. <laughs> I have two suggestions, Peter. When you first approached Russ to ask if you could make a movie of it, I think you were going for hesitant, but you were actually cowering that you were uh, going to get to something. Mm -hmm. I think maybe just dial it back a little bit. Be hesitant, but not necessarily uh, not like you're really afraid of what's going to happen. And then at the first part of the speech, when you interacted with Russ, you were on the left and he was on the right. Later on, when you uh, did a reenactment again, when you showed him the movie, you were on the left and he was on the right. Got it, so keep them on the same. Keep them on the same. Got side. it, yep. But otherwise, very good. Just to follow on to what Mark had said about the first time you met Ross, I agree that I felt like you were like cowering a little bit, but then I think there was a moment where uh, I think the intention was to demonstrate that he was offering you a fist bump and you fist bumped him back. But with the way that you were acting out both characters, I wasn't sure if you were like a little boop on the nose, like boop. So maybe oh, right. because it, it just at the height that your fist was at, and in part it was do that kind of cowering body language, it looked like maybe you were going for for his nose versus like a fist bump. Sure. Would you suggest I say, oh, knuckle bump? Okay. Yeah. yeah maybe something maybe, like that. Would, would you just, like say knuckle bump? Oh, knuckle bump. Yeah, like, oh, fist bump. Sure. Fist bump. Like, sure. Yeah, okay. that would probably help. Thank you. There are two more categories on it. The next one is both worth 10 points. The next one is appropriateness, which is speech purpose and audience. Anyone have any feedback for Peter on that? This might be a bit of a nuanced point. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> but it, it seemed like you had 
two messages in there. It should just be one. First, when he came to the realization that Russ was using his pain to do good, mm -hmm. I think what he said, and you treat it like that's a big revelation. At that point, I thought, okay, this is the, the speech. This is it. This is the whole point of the speech. And then you would continue on with that. But then when you got to the end, you got more into a message about how to find your joy. Got it. So I'd say pick one or the other. Yeah. Got and it. And then make that go through the speech. Thank you. Okay, the last one over 10 points is correctness. That's grammar, pronunciation, and word selection. Any feedback? Okay, and you guys didn't really touch on most of the points that I came up with, so Peter and I are going to have a little discussion later.